Number 5 Call of Duty Warzone Call of Duty is taking another stab at a battle royale mode, and this time it's gone free to play. Anyone can download and play Call of Duty Warzone, even if they don't own Modern Warfare. Matches have a total of 150 players spread out around a giant map called Verdansk, which is made up of 5 sectors with 300 points of interest. COD's new twist on the formula is the Gulag, a one-on-one -on -one fighting pit where dead players compete for a second chance to drop back on the map with their team. There's also a second mode called Plunder, a cash grab mode where players earn and steal money to win. The follow-up to the relatively well-received Blackout mode seen in Call of Duty. Black Ops 4, Warzone differentiates itself as a standalone title separates from the standard Modern Warfare experience. While borrowing many of the mechanics from the base game's multiplayer, Call of Duty Warzone feels like a remarkably fleshed-out experience, something that shouldn't be taken for granted in the early access era. A free-to-play Call of Duty experience the likes of which we never thought we'd see, given Activision's penchant for mobilization, this VR spin-off of the classic franchise, although fairly standard, should definitely have FPS fans' attention. Number 4 Ring of Elysium, Tencent, PUBG's publisher in China, decided to create its own free battle royale game. The result was Ring of Elysium which, sadly, is only available in certain regions of the world, a bummer since it introduces some really exciting twists to the battle royale formula. It has snowboarding and snowmobiles, as well as a real-time weather system which can affect gameplay. Additionally, it also allows a total of 4 players to escape win even in solo mode. That means you can form alliances with 4 players who aren't your teammates. It's up to you, or them, whether you'll all betray each other in the end, even if the four of you can actually escape the freezing cold storms of the Ring of Elysium. Number 3 CSGO When CSGO went free to play at the end of 2018, it came along with a new battle royale mode called Danger Zone. It's a smaller battle royale than most, hosting only 16 to 18 players, and rounds are short, lasting only 10 minutes or so. The map is pretty big when compared to other Counter-Strike maps, but Danger Zone still features CSGO's weapons and other familiar elements like Hostage Rescue. Valve's Counter-Strike franchise has a long history of dominating the first-person shooter FPS, Esprit C. This time around it seems the game has bent to the overwhelming will and call of Battle Royale. It's also not as huge in scale as your typical Battle Royale, as it only supports up to 16 players solo or 18 in a squad of 3. However, that small number of players per match also does a lot for the game. Matches only last 10 minutes instead of the usual 30 minutes for 100 player battle royale games, assuming you reach top 10. The best part about this battle royale, of course, is the shooting and gunplay mechanics of CSGO, which translate well into deep niche gameplay. Number 2 Fortnite Fortnite was a worldwide phenomenon in 2018, providing a bright and arcadey experience to counter PUBG's measured pace and gritty vibe. Epic isn't shy about experimenting with wacky modes like 50 vs 50, making frequent and sometimes mysterious changes to its map, or by adding, of all things, airplanes. We don't expect the surprising, game-changing experiments to stop anytime soon. For a time Fortnite Battle Royale was the king of the Battle Royale genre, and rightfully so. It was a more streamlined and casual-friendlier PUBG. The maps were smaller, making the matches a lot tighter, and increasing the chances of players encountering one another in a session. Arguably, this makes Fortnite's matches a lot more exciting and frantic than PUBG's, since the downtime between the encounters is less. What will keep you coming back are the rewards and incentives to play. Fortnite Battle Royale features one of the most robust and compelling rewards track and system among Battle Royale or even multiplayer games. Spending money is actually optional, and you also don't feel cheated, since you can see what you're working towards, and you know what you'll get, they're all just cosmetic, by the way. Number 1 Apex Legends, Respawn officially announced its free-to-play take on Battle Royale in a dramatic fashion the same day it launched. Apex Legends combines a hero squad shooter with the last man standing formula, and it became an instant hit, racking up 50 million players in its first month. It's added several new characters, and with novel systems that allow great mickless communication and the respawning of dead right, teammates, it's quickly thing. become the Battle Royale to watch in 2019. When it first came out after being kept under cover by the developers, Apex Legends took the gaming community by storm. It even managed to dethrone Fortnite. Battle Royale at one point and is now one of the most preferred Battle Royale titles at the moment. It's a futuristic sci-fi FPS that has enough polish and combat variety to put established titles like PUBG to shame. Apex Legends' hook when it comes to differentiating itself from other titles in the genre is the characters it has. Each of them has their own personality and specialization or skill that all make a huge difference in gameplay. 
Along with some quality of life improvements for communication and movement, Apex Legends makes Battle Royale more fun than any other title that tried out the formula that is until the next big thing arrives, which might happen soon. Someone's gotta take out the new kill leader. They're too cocky. 